Welcome to the Old Mutual Two Oceans video series. In this video, we focus on the power of sleep with information by senior researcher Dr. Dale Ray. Brought to you in conjunction with the Sports Science Institute of South Africa, the official scientific, medical, and wellness partner of the Old Mutual Two Oceans Marathon. Roger Federer is famously quoted as saying, if I don't sleep 11 to 12 hours a day, it's just not right. If the pros take sleep so seriously, shouldn't you too? Would you like to improve your athletic and work performance or your general health and mood? If yes, then try adding an extra hour of sleep each night as many of us are not hitting the mark in terms of getting enough sleep. We are all different in terms of our sleep requirements. The latest guidelines from the National Sleep Foundation in the USA recommend adults between 18 and 64 years old need to obtain between 7 and 9 hours of sleep each night. For some, 6 hours may be adequate, but for others, as much as 10 hours of sleep is needed. Finding your sleep sweet spot is key, but how do you know that you're getting enough sleep? An easy way to tell is if you can wake up on time without an alarm clock, feeling refreshed and ready for action. Our sleep needs can change, specifically when you add athletic training to the mix. When you do that, you'll need more sleep because exercise training imposes a stress on your body from which you need to recover, allowing adaptation and hopefully improved performance. Sleep therefore becomes a critical part of recovery and most professional athletes sleep in excess of 8 hours each night. Here are some tips on how to get more sleep. Tip number 1. Establish a routine. Try to go to bed and wake up at the same time each day, even on weekends. Your body responds well to routine. Number 2. Seek light first thing in the morning, preferably outdoor light. Sunlight, or what scientists refer to as blue light, is stimulating and helps prime your body for the day. Once the sun sets in the evening, be wary of too much artificial light exposure. Our bodies are designed to respond to the reduced light levels in the evening to initiate sleep. Number 3. Avoid excessive screen time in the evenings. TVs, phones, tablets and computers suppress melatonin, which helps promote sleep. If you're going to be staring at a screen before bed, install apps that filter the blue light from your screen. Tip number 4. Limit caffeine intake to the morning. This gives you the best chance of feeling sleepy at a reasonable hour at night. Number 5. Limit alcohol intake. While it may make you sleepy initially and help you fall asleep fast, too much alcohol can interfere with the quality of your sleep. Apart from disrupting it, it also reduces deep sleep which is a critical time for your body to recover and repair. Number 6. Try not to exercise or eat too late in the evenings. Just like light, exercising will put you on an endorphin high, making it hard to feel sleepy and fall asleep after a session. And lastly, tip number 7. Tune down before turning in. Try to avoid work, studying or anything else too stressful in the hour before you turn out the lights. A stressed overactive mind is a recipe for insomnia. Pre-race nerves and an early rise time the morning of a race often means poor sleep the night before. Luckily, this is unlikely to affect your race performance as long as you have slept well the week before the race. To arrive at the start feeling fresh, bank as much sleep as you can in the week leading up to your race. Good luck with your sleep strategy and have a great run!